psychology, I was uh, told to give a pedagogical reading course. And this is what, what it's supposed to be. So I will be speaking to students, uh, supposedly young and inexperienced minds who do not know what is the model by space of connection. This is an introductory uh, mini course. Specialists will not find anything new here. Uh, so, um, so the plan was uh, as follows. So I uh, three lectures and roughly uh, speaking as is uh, as between these three lectures. So today uh, I will be giving more the basic uh, uh, definitions, uh, examples and all there are various models for uh, uh, for the model specified connections, so I will mention uh, some uh, models for this model space. Let me do it like that. Uh, so uh, tomorrow uh, we will talk about some of the uh, interesting geometric structures which live uh, on this space. So, well, generally, the idea is to talk about geometric structures. Well, I guess uh, the main hero will be the so-called idea about synthetic structure. Of uh, volumes, of 
all the way through to foundations and surfaces. So, well, there are uh, two cases here, so I'll probably be able to do the simplest case where you can define the loop. And the world there's a case with GAD loop. So, I'm um, um, probably saying something about that case as well. So, this is the very, very rough plan. So, it, it may change a little bit. And uh, at, at some point, I will probably I would probably try to say something about uh, an initial broader class of modular spaces in, into which flat connections fit very nicely, and this, those are the uh, modular spaces uh, associated to. Well, this one is somehow associated to Chern Simon's theory, and uh, well, there's a class of so called AKZ sigma models which produce somehow similar objects, and uh, I will probably uh, tell you a little bit about that. So, we'll see. So, okay, so. So the size of this blackboard means that I, I wrote for you the plan and I can immediately raise it. So, So, so let us uh, start with the, the basics. So, let's uh, say that G is the, uh, this group, and uh, various statements uh, to be true, I will have to impose additional conditions like compactness, uh, connectedness, and simply connectedness, but uh, so far, uh, no conditions. Uh, so, let me denote G uh, supposed to be Gothic. Uh, it's the algebra. So n and manifolds. And also um, well, for, for the rest statements to be true, we, we will have to impose some additions. So far just a smooth manifold, but we will almost always talk about closed manifolds. In the case with the boundary, I will tell you that I want a manifold with the boundary. Uh, so right. So uh, the, Let's talk about the following. So connection uh, now we in a trivial G bundle. Trivial G bundle over M it is given by by global one form. Uh, so this so bundle is uh, like that, and G is in my convention from the right. So the connection is determined, determined by one form. Let's say A and uh, one form is M with values in the algebra, which I will usually abbreviate to M convention. So, uh, and the connection is flat if, well, if, if its curvature is zero. Uh, so, A is flat. Uh, uh, well, uh, here I uh, use the number A interchangeably. So, A is flat if, uh, oh, it's, okay, it. okay. if the curvature is zero. This is a two form. Uh, is there is the algebra. So we have to be zero. Uh, and uh, uh, each transformations, which well, in, in this setting I will just give them by a formula, uh, although we do have a nice geometrical meaning. So uh, each transformations are for the following transformation for these one forms. So we send uh, one form A to one form, say, B prime, 
So uh, somehow more generally, more generally, let's speak uh, uh, of a general Jivano over a minute from M. Um, so with with a connection. So uh, right, so if I have a connection with Nabla in this bundle. So connection uh, in, in principle bundles there are various definitions so uh, one definition is that by specializing the most general definition of uh, LS1 uh, connection in a fiber bundle so then you just view a connection as a, a horizontal distribution for uh, a distribution uh, in uh, on P on the total space which is transversal to the vertical distribution which is the, the kernel of the projection. And so the distribution um, transversal to the horizontal to the vertical side. Right? 
and a lot of them know the that we want a connection in a, a G line or the internet we also impose an addition, additional condition uh, on this um, on this distribution so we want it to be to give the line name. For instance, instead of a one to one on the total space, but um, so let me just have, have this one. Uh, so, to a connection, so a connection has a declaration, uh, which is a two form uh, on M with values in the uh, adjoint. Bundle, so this affects a bundle over M. And lo locally is given by the same formula as before. So this is um, uh, this is the associated bundle to P. So it's associated by means of adjoint representation. So this uh, G is by adjoint here and or as, as a principal bundle here. Uh, so So when flatness is all again, times coverage equal to zero. So, uh, so in terms of this uh, horizontal uh, distribution, flatness means uh, integrability, integrability of the distribution, or that, uh, the horizontal vector fields, uh, the commutator of horizontal vector fields is again a horizontal vector field. So. Um, So, oh, this was just a remark, but uh, now uh, we want to reformulate everything in terms of, of the parallel transport. So, uh, parallel transport works as follows. So, uh, assume that you have a path uh, on M from some point X to some point Y. And uh, so this is a path on M. And suppose that you fix a connection, so, so far any connection for the uh, principal bundle. Then such a path gives you uh, gives you a map from which you denote uh, your whole from polynomial um, sorry not one uh, which goes from the fiber over x to the fiber over uh, y and well the idea is that uh, you just lift this path to a horizontal path with respect to the distribution so, uh, you have some freedom, uh, which is where to put, uh, where do you lift the, the original point x, and then uh, the lifting is defined uniquely. So therefore you get a map from fiber over x to fiber over y. So this is, um, so lift to the bottom of the place. So and uh, the zero coverage condition uh, is equivalent to uh, to the following property that uh, that this uh, map. So this map is by construction G equivalent. So this map should be independent of uh, homotopy of of this part gamma homotopy with fixed endpoints. Independent under most of the number.
Okay. So, gives you uh, one way to view the parallel transport is that it gives you a functor um, from, from the fundamental void of M, which uh, is well, a category with uh, objects being the points of M and with paths being exactly uh, sorry with, with uh, Morphisms being exactly uh, paths between pairs of points up to homotopy. So objects uh, points in M, and uh, the home space between the two, two objects is uh, well, homotopy classes of paths between X and Y.
So, and, and then, so I, I'm trying to, to, to take you to, to the most standard um, uh, model for, for the model based on connections. So, to do that, we should specialize this feature to closed paths. So, we should fix some base point on the manifold. And we should specialize to close the paths. Of M 
PG. But uh, so as we saw there, there is some ambiguity here related to the specialization uh, of this uh, fiber over the base points in the manifold. Uh, so therefore, we don't actually get the homotopy, we get the homotopy out to communication by, uh, by the element of the roof. So the uh, theorem uh, is that, uh, well, this is one to one. So there is no, in fact, something in principle to check here if one is pedantic, so one has to check that the map is well defined and it is uh, uh, injected and subjected. And uh, what I will not uh, do this, this is uh, um, an exercise. Uh, easy. Uh, so, okay. So now, so somehow this is probably the, uh, the main model for modular space connections. Uh, well, that is the bundle, so I thought we made the distinction because these are a little bit uh, different things. So the thing on, on the left, so let me call it, I'm currently without tree because uh, here I'm working with all uh, bundles, not just trivial one. So as you will see, this, well, it may coincide with the uh, space connections in the trivial bundle, or maybe different. Sorry? You said all bundles, not just the not just the trivial one. Mm. So before I, before yeah. I introduce for you an energy, okay. so it's all all this inclusion may be may be proper or, or may, may be important. <coughs> okay. So um, right, and uh, uh, <coughs> the object on the left is introduced in terms of infinite dimensional objects. Uh, so in the space of connections. Uh, the well, page information. So, um, so you are dividing something into dimensional by something into dimensional, and well, uh, what you get can be expressed in purely finite dimensional terms. Um, well, here you are working only with finite dimensional objects, so you have a fundamental group, uh, forms to, to the new group, and uh, so this is in a sense. <laughs> nice. But uh, well, the, the construction on the left is, is very much like the construction of their homology, just some, some you know, the version of their homology. So, uh, okay, so, so I, I want to uh, present some other, uh, well, some other construction of, uh, of this uh, space of flight connections. So uh, one important uh, construction just follows. So one construction. So one construction is as follows. So uh, let's say we fix uh, a cell decomposition of, of the manifold. Uh, so Instead of M because to that on T. Uh, 
Um, so this is uh, the space of maps from the edges of one cells of, of the cell complex. Um, one cells to a group uh, satisfying uh, certain conditions. So uh, I want to decorate every edge with a group element, but I want for every two cell of the product of these group elements over the boundary to be identical with the group. So uh, for every two cell, so from some two cell, so I have some bound, bounding edges. Uh, so I want, let's say, P1, P2, and so on, you can. So I, I want to impose the requirement as a group of. The end is all the new of the one is the identity. So, um, so I'm interested in the space of such decorations. Um, so if G is a D group, if finding the relation D group, then this is some uh, well I, I take G to some big power, the number of one cells, and then I impose some uh, well, algebraic equations. And then I have to divide by, uh, by some equivalence. So the equivalence is that, uh, well, these two declarations, U and U prime, are considered equivalent if, uh, if uh, when evaluated on an arbitrary edge, let's say going between a uh, pair of vertices U and V. So I want to evaluate let's say u prime on this edge, so this would be related to u evaluated on this edge by the formula, or the familiar formula, um, u evaluated on the edge. So here, g is, um, well, a discrete version of the edge transformation, so g is a uh, map from vertices to so, so this is uh, the model. So to make to make it make sense, I, I should just tell you that uh, I choose arbitrarily orientations of uh, one times two cells. So here I also chose some, some orientation. So and the, the, the rule uh, is that uh, you apply to so I'm allowed to change to flip the orientation of edges, and if I flip them, I, I should uh, reverse. Uh, of 
edges of the block of P. It is possible, and, and then you just take uh, holonomies in, in the sense of products of this and it's U, which uh, along uh, with block lines using uh, classes in So this is holonomies. So, uh, all right. So this is, I guess, well, a nice abstraction. Well, it is nice and, uh, in which sense? Well, for instance, uh, uh, you don't have to pick a base point. So it is a, it is a finite dimensional construction, but doesn't require to pick a base point. So it is better. Uh, it agrees better with, let's say, uh, gloomy and cutting of, of manifolds. So this is one reason to, to like this construction. Yes, I have one question. If you, uh, the gauge group uh, is in general a disconnected group, right? Uh, as many components, the gauge group. Yes. So in principle, you could define the modular space by the value by the just the component connected to the identity, right? This is not the right procedure, but yes. what, what maybe from this the cell decomposition you understand that, that uh, how you how you see this that you have to define the in the same what I mean, you know, if you, you could, well, it's, 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 if the gauge group is just um, uh, a choice, right, you could do a different choice, right, just yes. taking the, the connected component to the group. Yes. But uh, here not, right, here just uh, dictated by just uh, the, the finite dimensional group, so in the, in the cell decomposition, so maybe one can understand uh, what, what would miss uh, uh, on the on the other side. Um, I don't think I understand the question again. Mean, sure, I and mean, G is a parameter in all the story. You can take a disconnected group, you can pass to the uh, connected component of identity. So, of course, thing on the right changes. So, so what, what is the question? No, no, it was, well, it was just uh, my wonder if uh, here, well, I just choose the finite dimensional group, right, and, do, and, and define this model as space. Yes. But in the, in the previous definition, well, you, you choose what is the gauge group, right? Which is mapped from uh, M to G. Yes, so here But in principle, you could just divide by the, by the connected component. Here, some of the gauge group is mapped from set of vertices to G. Mm -hmm. I mean, this big gauge group is yeah, mapped from a set of vertices to G. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, this, this construction is very much like the simplicial model or cell model for the of memory. So, the thing on the right is like the round one is, is like a cell. Uh, okay, maybe I still yeah, I, I guess I did not hear the, the question. Um, right. So, uh, well, this is probably the, the important construction, but I, I, I want to just very uh, very briefly mention some other models, which will other ones probably will not. <coughs> Uh, and if you remove that, you just get uh, the space of, uh, of 
just principle one was more than one isomorphisms for the field and that's what you know potentially uh, find out. So uh, and finally uh, yeah. I don't know how much useful is that, but it's just a statement in, in different words. So, locally constant sheaves or not. And what do I want to do? And well, here, of course, I should tell you what my page group is, so I should be of a particular kind. So, uh, anyway. <laughs> Uh, there are other ways to introduce uh, more than space of connections, but I, I, I don't really need them. So it's, I think it's better to go to some examples. So, okay. So of course, the most, I don't know, stuff is kind of trivial examples. So let's say GRB and GRB. And so uh, what we get is the more than space of flat connections. So this is indeed uh, well, based on homes from phi 1 to g, and there's no need to divide by g in this case because uh, it's, it's a division by, by conjugation by g, g is a b, and so it doesn't, this is, uh, so it's a trivial operation. It's a trivial operation. So, right. uh, so since g is a b, and you can replace phi 1 by its abelianization, which is um, First homology with the coefficients, and by uh, it's by the universal coefficient theorem, this is the first cohomology of any coefficients in G. So in particular, uh, we get what we already saw that G is a real line if you get the homology. So, uh, okay, so uh, the other interesting case is, uh, well, the simple case G is discrete. So then uh, G bundles are actually just covering spaces uh, over M. So G bundles are covering spaces. And uh, well, each covering space uh, has a unique uh, connection and it is flat. So each one uh, has a unique connection. So the flat bundles 
So n points correspond to uh, the matrix one, one, and minus one, and minus one. Uh, so, and somehow, uh, the normal space of connections is a singular space stratified uh, by, uh, by the conjugacy class of, standard, of the standardized of the points, stabilizer subgroup, subgroup in G. So, here in the generic point, the stabilizer is Q1, or conjugated to Q1. Uh, and it's ten points to the left and start for the security. So this is an easy exercise and then uh, well, the next example would be for 
H form, where H is a genus. So, uh, so the modally specified connections can be represented as, uh, well, in, in this spirit, as the uh, set of um, sequences of, uh, of two H elements of the group, two H elements of the group, satisfying the property that the products from one to H of the group commutators uh, is the identity. Module of all conjugation as in here, uh, conjugation by the group. And uh, well, just well, this is this is also a, a singular a space. Um, uh, and the dimension of this space uh, is uh, if you take a genus two or higher, uh, would be two H minus two times <coughs> the dimension of the group. So this is if H is two or higher. Uh, and well, it is kind of important that this is an even number, which agrees nice, nicely with uh, the fact that. Uh, we will find a synthetic structure in this space. Well, and if H equal 1, this is essentially the one we go here, but for a generic group, the dimension will be 2 times the range of the group, or a semi simple group. And H equals 0 is sort of zero because well, it's the point, so the dimension is 0. Uh, I believe uh, I am out of time, uh, so tomorrow we will discuss geometric structures. Thanks very much for your attention.